Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome to this third virtual drive, part of our series of virtual drives. We're going to uh, continue our practice getting more comfortable driving in traffic. And today's main goal is parking, parking practice. And so um, I've switched programs. This one's called City Car Driving. City Car Driving. <coughs> Excuse me. It's actually a Russian um, company, and um, it's not perfect, but it's I think better than the one I was using before, which was uh, beamng.drive. Um, there's some things I liked about that, but there's a lot of really glitchy problems and lack of realistic traffic and lack of realistic um, intersections. And in this program, we've got we've got uh, pedestrians walking around. We've got uh, more parking opportunities, lots of intersections, and um, pretty realistic. Um, realistic traffic and so really happy about that and one thing that I really like about it is um, there are some driving um, training grounds where you can practice uh, there's a actually even a driving school you can go and go through their course and practice um, sliding on ice and, and, and water to see what happens when your brakes get wet and going through slalom courses and um, parallel parking and U-turns and all that so it's it's a it's a good one if you're looking for something to pick up just to practice the driving skills. This one's probably better um, than than BeamNG.Drive and and probably better than um, spending fifty or sixty bucks on a really good game like Forza Five or whatever is is uh, out right now. Um, those games are great, definitely better better cars, better graphics, but not really designed for um, real driving necessarily. So. Um, I'm going to show you, bring up the map and show you what our plan is today. We are parked at the mall and we're going to practice parking on the curb and some 90 degree, 90 degree or what I call straight parking. So it's, it's those 90 degree, 90 de I don't know why I have a hard time saying that, 90 degree um, spots, which is probably the hardest kind of parking because you're, you're squeezing in between cars sometimes um, and turning at a 90 degree angle to get there. We're then going to uh, exit the exit the mall. We're going to turn or go down Park Street, take a right on Modern Avenue. We're going to go through this interesting intersection. I'm not really sure what that is, but we're going to continue on Bourbon Street. There's a couple opportunities here where we can do some uh, angled parking, uh, maybe uh, one of the easier types of parking. So still between cars sometimes, but the parking spots are angled and not 90 degrees and so much easier to get in and out of we're gonna go all the way down Bourbon Street to Park Avenue take a take a left and go all the way down until we get to Myra Street try to exit there and this is a parking garage and we will end our drive parking in a garage environment which those are always or normally I should say 90 degree parking spots in a uh, dark environment with low um, a low ceiling and the parking spots tend to be a little bit narrower so that's one of the more challenging uh, parking scenarios that uh, you'll come up with and I think on another drive we'll practice parallel parking and doing um, u-turns so for now though that's our goal and we'll see that's kind of like looking at our GPS right there and you always want to do that before your drive uh, now with the uh, texting and driving law in Idaho you can't look at or interact with um, a mobile device while you're driving now someone can do it for you in the passenger seat or you can do it if you pull over um, and stop to look at it so and I might have to actually have to do that I uh, drew myself a little map that reminds me Park Street to Modern Avenue to Bourbon to Park Avenue to Myra so that's what I would do in real life if I didn't know um, the area and this is a brand new city uh, here to me if it was Boise or Meridian where I live I wouldn't need any of that but um, so let's go ahead and practice parking today so remember that when you get in the car you're going to uh, adjust your seat so you can reach the pedals and the steering wheel comfortably remember that the gas is always on the right the brake is always on the left adjust your mirrors so you can see out the back and uh, easily out and level to the sides um, and then we're gonna put our foot on the brake and um, start the car so in this case you should also put on your seatbelt so for me I just push that button and part of that process is making sure 
all your passengers have their belts on too. That is your responsibility. And it's something no one wants to talk about, but if you get in a wreck and someone flies through the windshield or the out, out of the car and they die and they weren't belted, you could very well be held responsible for that. So uh, we don't want that to happen, of course. So make sure everybody's belted, up, belted in. Okay, so car is started, emergency brake is off, and I'm gonna switch to the outside view for now just because it's so much easier to see what we're doing. And this is a 90 degree or straight parking spot, and we're gonna back out to the right. So we wanna look to the right, and we also wanna turn our steering wheel to the right. Keep in mind, you don't wanna crank it early because what will happen, of course, is that you will slide uh, not slide, you will end up right into the car next to you. So uh, your job is to stay parallel with those lines, and I'm actually parked a little bit too far to the left anyway, which isn't great. So it's really important that when we back out, we back out straight, right? Now remember that we are gonna turn to the right. We're gonna check both ways for traffic. Now what this looks like from the inside of the car is this, and you can see it's a little bit harder to see if there's any traffic. Sometimes you do have to coast backwards a little bit and just look again and make sure there's no car. Now, in a real car, it's actually easier to see than this. The, there's, you know, the, the, the windows are bigger and it's not so bad, but that does show you that you do need to sometimes coast out just to make sure that no one is coming. So we'll check again because traffic is, uh, <coughs> there is traffic in this um, program. So I'm gonna back out and try, turn just a little bit left, but as soon as I can clear that back line, if there was a car there, as soon as I can clear his back bumper, I can then crank it right. Remember, if I wanna go backwards right, I turn the wheel to the right. Okay, now I'm gonna shift into drive and get into my lane and get my speed up just a little bit. Okay, go ahead and come to a stop. So let's pick a spot to, to park. And so you can see that red car, you can see a couple black cars um, to our right. Let's pick a spot that's not next to a car. All right, so let's signal right. Here's the key, here's the trick. The biggest thing for, for a good job parking in this type of parking spot. Swing wide, swing wide. Go ahead and go as wide as you can. Go all the way to the sidewalk. There's nobody coming at us, why not? And pick a spot, and then I want you to swing into it. Now it's gonna feel like you are uncomfortably close to the line on the left, and that's how it should feel. Because by the time you swing in, you'll end up being fairly centered. Okay, now that's not perfect, that's an A minus job, but it's pretty good. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna get an A minus for that, that's giving myself an A minus. Uh, I like to be right in the middle. So let's go ahead and shift into reverse. Uh, this time we're gonna back out to the left. And so uh, we know that we can't cross that line. We wanna wait till we're right at the end of the line and then crank it left and try not to run onto the sidewalk, shift into drive, get into your lane and get your speed up. Just a little bit. Now in parking lots, speeds are really slow. They're 10 or 15 maybe. Um, and you really just idle. So we're gonna take a left here. So go ahead and signal left. It says yield, so we don't have to stop, but I'm gonna make sure that no one's coming. And we have to go to the closest lane that we legally can, which is across this yellow line. <coughs> Excuse me, and turn left here. Keep your left blinker on, turn left. What I'd like you to do is to signal right and park next to the curb. Do you remember how close to a curb you have to be? We're gonna pretend like we're dropping someone off at the mall. What's the answer? How many inches from the curb do you have to park? Closer than, the answer, 18 inches. So right there is great, 18 inches. And we're gonna drop that person off and we're gonna cancel our signal look over our shoulder, we're gonna pull back out. Can't really say pull back out into traffic, but that's kind of what it is. We're gonna turn right here, so right blinker. Uh, we just have to yield, we don't have to stop, so we're just looking for traffic now. I don't see anybody coming, so we're gonna go closest lane to us. And we're gonna end up in another parking area, 
and we're going to pick a spot next to one car. Go ahead and come to a stop. So you see that green car? Whoop, stop. Wrong pedal. Wrong pedal. Be careful. Gas is on the right. Brakes on the left. <coughs> see that green car? Let's park next to it. Now, because we went a little farther forward than we uh, wanted to, let's go ahead and back up a little bit. So we're going to shift into reverse. We're just going to make sure no one's behind us, which, whoops, which they aren't. And uh, right here is good. Okay, shift into drive. We're going to signal left. And we're going to swing as wide as we can <clears throat> right up to that sidewalk. Uh, now, here's an example of how you're going to get uncomfortably close to which car? The answer, silver car. So we're going to swing wide. And right here is what I'm talking about. This sometimes looks, especially from this view, this looks a little bit close. But it's really not. It's not bad. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's not bad at all. But if you don't swing wide, you're going to end up too close to the green car. So we are swinging wide, and we end up parallel to both white lines and straighten our wheels out and come to a stop. <coughs> so it's not, again, that's probably an A- minus job. Not perfect, but not bad. I could probably straighten my wheels a little and... You don't want to you don't want to leave your wheels cranked or turned when you put the car in park and turn off the car and leave because when you get back in you may forget that you had left your wheels turned. So when you get back in the car, like okay, all I have to do is back out straight, right? But I always check. I always back out very slow and watch what the front of the car does. So let's go ahead and back out and turn left. So shift into reverse. And uh, you don't have to signal when you're backing up. So the car that we're going to get the closest to backing up, pulling out to the left, again, is going to be the silver car. And so we want to start turning if we can, but don't crank it until you can easily clear his back bumper. And that really wasn't bad at all. Also, a pet peeve of mine, when people only part, pull out part way. Let me show you what I mean. So if I were back into this parking spot, Okay, let's do it again here. Boop. Okay, a little, little farther. Okay, shift in reverse. Um, let's say I back out. Check my blind spot there. Uh, we're going to back out. Let's say they back out like this, and then they stop. Why they do that, I'm not really sure, because they're blocking traffic even longer than they have to, because now they have to drive forward and then get into their lane. So you might as well, when you back out, back all the way out until you are parallel, until you're straight in your lane. All right, let's go ahead and go forward. You see that yellow van up ahead? We want to park to the right of it if we can. So let's just take a look. Let's say the store that we want to go into is on this side of the mall. We're looking for a parking spot. Go ahead and signal. Looks like we can't right next to the yellow van, but there is a, a gap between those two black cars. So first thing we do is what? Swing wide. And then we're going to get uncomfortably close to that black car and swing in and get parallel and stop. Now that is an A, not an A+. Plus. That's an A parking job right there. Pretty good. Oh, maybe an A+. Plus. It's close. So, <laughs> All right. So you want to practice that as much as possible. Let's go ahead and back out to the right. We're going to shift into reverse. So that's about all the straight parking we need to do here. As soon as we can clear the bumper of that car, we crank it. And we go all the way out. Shift into drive get into your, your side of the lane, and uh, speed is slow through a parking lot. So uh, 10 or 15. Uh, this is slower than a neighborhood. Neighborhoods are 20. School zones are 25. City streets are 35. All right, so we're going to stay to the right of that. Go straight. Stay to the right of that yellow line. Um, let's, let's go ahead and go to the far right lane right here. And yield, but no pedestrians. Go straight. And our light is green. Let's go ahead and go. Oh, we need to remember what, what uh, I'm going to turn right here. So turn right. OK, no cross traffic. I can't just drive randomly. I'm going to try to remember which way to go. So this should lead me. We're going to turn right here. Signal. This should be Bourbon Street. I don't think it's really visible. Um, but we're going to do our best following our directions. <clears throat> to our destination, which is the parking garage. 
So get used to keeping your car centered. Yeah, here's that weird intersection. Let's do a left lane change. Okay, so it's inside mirror, outside mirror, over your shoulder. You go if it's clear. Quick, that was quick. Cancel our signal. That was an intersection I've never seen before. We're gonna go straight. We have to yield, so make sure no one's coming in that lane, which they're not. So definitely some European style. Okay, pedestrian in the crosswalk. We're gonna come to a stop until she's all the way across, and then we can go. So I'm assuming this is Bourbon Street. Um, I think it is, and what we wanna do is do a right lane change. Now that's gonna be a little difficult because there's some cars there. Um, but let's put on our right blinker. Let's check our inside mirror, outside mirror, over our shoulder. And uh, somebody parked, and so there was a nice big gap. And so we're there. Change lanes, cancel your signal, and get your speed up. It looks like we have a red light. Uh, no pedestrian crossing that crosswalk there. Or what kind of, oh, light just turned green, but we want to tap our brake, slow down just a little bit. We want to go straight here. So we're just watching traffic. You know, the majority of your time driving is watching other drivers and looking ahead, looking ahead of you, being aware of everything that's around your vehicle at all times. So always checking your rear view mirror, your side mirrors. But remember, 95% of the time you're looking straight ahead. Uh, what's coming up? What could be a problem? Looking for anything unusual, looking for light, um, for the traffic lights to change like that one just did. So you're always aware that nothing's a surprise. And then the other 5%, you're checking your mirrors um, and checking your speed, right? So eventually you'll get so, um, you can just keep your speed without even having to look at your speedometer very often at all. So this gives me just a, uh, a chance to look at the map in the upper right corner of the, the light screen. So let's go ahead and left, right, left. Remember, if you're in front, you always um what happened there you always <laughs> you always look left right left if you're in front at a light all right so i did look at the uh upper right the map in the upper right corner when i was at that light and it said i was on bourbon street that's exactly where i want to be but i want to be in the left lane so let's do a left lane change so inside mirror outside mirror there is a car in my blind spot so i'm going to let him go past me i'll check my blind spot again and I'll pull in right behind him and cancel my signal. Remember the, the law, how far back <coughs> must you be behind a car? If you remember, it is. So you can see where his tires touch the pavement and I am just, that's as close as I should ever get to a vehicle. And you can see that's about a car length. If I look at that, that's the great thing about a, a program like this, a simulator. You can't do that in driver's ed, just rotate your view. All right, light's green, let's go ahead and go. I'm not in, not in front, so I don't have to look left, right, left, but I am just aware of what's going on at the intersection. Um, so in a program like this, you can actually change your view, pause, look at things from a different angle and kind of analyze things, which is why I do this instead of using like a dash cam or live video, this I, I find this much more useful to talk things through. All right, this is probably Park. We're gonna go left here, probably Park um, Avenue. I don't see street signs in this town. I don't do such a good job. Makes you appreciate Idaho. We usually have pretty obvious street signs. So it gives you a chance to kind of take a deep breath. And one thing I like to tell my drivers, um, lift your, uh, drop your elbows and wiggle your fingers. Because one thing you do when you're nervous is you grip the steering wheel really, really tight and um, you lift your elbows up. And that, that's just what you do when you're stressed um, behind a car. So uh, you'll hear me say, um, light's green. Let's go ahead and follow that silver car closest lane to us you'll hear me say just focusing on a second getting through this intersection you see how distracted driving is a problem and uh, when you drive you really need your attention on the driving all right so we're working our way down Park Avenue to the mall which is on Myra Street um, so when you're nervous and where my students are nervous I can sense it and you can feel the car working and jiggling back and forth because lights green let's go straight 
because they're they're nervous and so they're gripping the steering wheel too tightly and so i'll say wiggle your fingers drop your elbows take a deep breath and you know what's funny is in situations where that i've been in as an adult driver even as an adult driver's ed driver uh, i have found myself wiggling my fingers dropping my elbows and taking a deep breath and it really does help so I do not see a street sign here, but I'm going to keep going straight. So no street signs. Uh, that guy, did he go? Uh, oh, it says, oh, this is a left turn only. Dun, da, da. Didn't know that. Closest lane to me. Maybe it'll tell me what street I'm on. It's not the right one. Let's do a right lane change. So inside, outside, over my shoulder, and go if it's clear okay get centered all right we need to work our way to the right light just turned green our goal is to get to the parking garage to finish this drive and we'll switch drivers and the next person will go from there so it looks like probably coming up to a roundabout if this was a video game you would just take off across the grass and bounce off of poles and crash through them all or whatever to get to the parking garage but not not this we're gonna take it seriously and treat it like real driving so you know what to expect all right so we're following a police officer we're at a roundabout this is a yield we're gonna stay to the closest lane to us looks like that silver car is turning oh police officer is not going yet <coughs> so don't get too excited make sure no one make sure the person in front of you has already gone I do not know why he's waiting Oh, he's got his left blinker on. Now, he's a police officer. I, I, oh, he's signaling to go left into the roundabout. That's interesting. I don't think that's correct. But <laughs> um, um, I don't have to signal to get into a roundabout because there is no choice. You do have to signal to get out of a roundabout, which I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to turn right on Alice Street. It's a one-way street, by the way. I just barely caught that. On the, on the corner, there was a one-way sign. Did you notice it? So as you drive, you'll need to start picking up little cues. Uh, another one is that the paint on the, I'm looking for Myra Street, which is right here. The paint on the road is all white. That means traffic all goes the same direction. If you look ahead up there on the right on Myra Street, you'll see some yellow paint in the middle of the road that means it's a two-way street I can't really tell on the left but I'm assuming it's also a two-way street all right lights green I am in front so left right left just to make sure no one's running the red light I'm gonna go to the closest lane to me and there should be a mall let's do a left lane change so inside outside shoulder slide over cancel your signal now we're looking for a parking garage <coughs> which I think is either accessed here or it might be a little further, but I can see, yeah, I can't go in there. So this is very much like real life driving or like we're trying to find a place to park. Let's go left here. I think we can. I don't see any one way. Oh yeah, I do. That's a one way street. Oh, and we have road construction. So what do you do now? That's a problem. Cancel your signal. You can't go around that um, road construction. That's blocked. I have to go right. That's also a real world, real world scenario. So we will try to get there a different way. And we'll go up to the next street and take a right and go back around. So much like a real driving scenario. So we're going to take a right here. Oh, this is this yield. I've been here before. Um, so we're basically, I really need to signal left because I'm yielding, I'm sorry, I'm um, yeah, yielding, merging with traffic. And we're going to go right. So remember, I can go right on a red light if, change my blinker, so I'm going the right way. There's a police officer behind me. Um, if there's no traffic coming at a red light, I can go. You can always go right on a red unless there's a sign that says you can't. All right, so we're going to try to work our way back over to that parking um, garage if we can. That's our, if we have to park somewhere else, somewhere else, I guess we will. 
<clears throat> so here's a situation again where there's no street on the right, but I'm still going to look left, right, left when the light turns green. Now, can I do that early? Left, right, left. You can start the process just a little bit early. Um, but remember, the whole point is to um, give you about a two second, one, one thousand, two, one thousand um, pause before progressing through the intersection. Let's signal right. There's a yield sign. We're going to go closest lane to us. If that silver car is turning, we can go. And we're going to turn right. I believe this was Alice Street, if I remember right. That's maybe a bad sign that I already know this so well. See, there's that one way. There's that one way sign. And this is Alice Street. So we're going to try to find a different way into that parking garage. Light's green. If it stays green, we'll go straight this time. We're going to cross over Myra. And I think we're going to um, we obviously can't go the same way. Let's signal right. See if we can go in here. Can we go in here? I don't know what that. It looks like a one-way street out. So let's not turn there. It's not very well marked. Let's turn right here. I don't think we can. I think it's blocked. Let's see what we can do. Signal right just in case. Oh, it's a one-way to the left. Boy, they make it really, really hard to get to the parking garage. So we're going to follow this police officer around the corner. And I would say let's do a left lane change. So inside mirror, outside mirror, over your shoulder. Go if it's clear. Cancel your signal. Uh, let's take the next left if we can. Check the street. See what kind of street it is. Uh, the light turned yellow. Let's stop. <coughs> this gives you more of a chance. Oh, that guy ran that red light by a mile. So it looks like this is a normal two-way street. Oh, it's Myra. I don't think we're going to get in there. So we're going to find another place to park. That's exactly what you would do in real life. We wanted to park in that parking garage for whatever reason. Maybe it's close to the store that you wanted to go to. Now, can I turn left on a red light here? No. Left, right, left. I couldn't have turned le uh, left on a red light because it was not a one-way street to a one-way street. Okay, so we're going to go straight. Right about here when we have a nice quiet spot um, and I don't need to say much, this is when I would ask you how you're doing. Uh, wiggle your fingers, drop your elbows, take a deep breath. Do you have any questions? Light's green. Let's go ahead and follow that truck. <clears throat> and this, hopefully you would be able to ask, ask a few questions and just kind of, um, you know, we do start to try to do some um, chit chat, just ask you some questions just to see how you are. Um, doing and let's see if we can go left here. I did see this last time, but I wasn't sure what kind of ah, it looks like an exit only. So, you know what? Let's do a right lane change. I see a car in our blind spot. That's okay. We're just gonna go behind you. It's all good. And let's take this. Oh, he took our spot. Let's take any spot you can see. Looks like past that silver car. There's one spot left. We're gonna swing a little bit wide and we're gonna slide into this angled parking spot. Nice and centered and parallel. We're going to put it in park, turn off the car, and we're good for today. So that's it for today's drive. Uh, I'll see you next time around. Mr. John's out.